road she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A cool kids gift to our community. A woman's work. Janet Kush, portrayed by Melanie. Life. What is life? Life is like a book. Life has a beginning, middle, and sadly, it has to eventually come to an end. I'm Janet Kush, and one day, I was talking to my mom. What? What are you talking about? After the conversation was over, I wanted to educate the community about the consequences that come along with teen pregnancy. I started my career by working at the Option Center. The Option Center is a place where you can go if you needed to talk about teen pregnancy or wanted to prevent it. I filled the position of Executive Director a number of years ago. The center later produced a book. The book started as a piece of paper stapled in the corner. This book was free to any of the parents that wanted to acquire this kind of knowledge. Eventually, Gunnarsson Lutheran and the Children's Miracle Network funded this book. This book was also translated into Russian and got shipped over to Russia. I educate people on the effects of teen pregnancy, but most of all, the Option Center is working on prevention. A few of the effects that come along with teen pregnancy are that some teens don't even graduate from high school because they have the responsibility for another human life. I have asked teens when they think someone is ready to bring a child into the world. The responses were, when you're married or have money. Somebody else added that people have money and a house, but they're still bad parents. One very smart 17-year-old girl said, when you're old enough and ready to make the child a priority. It was probably the smartest thing I've heard in my life while working at the options. I always seem to get asked the same questions over and over. How do I do my job? I do my job by working with my staff, setting goals, and creating the future that we want for our community. I also create plans that are well suited for each of my patients that include health care assistance. Our major job is really working on prevention. Right now, we are updating our building. Our building is about 15 years old and it's starting to fall apart. Another job that I'm doing is to raise money because 63% of the people that we see are at or below the poverty level and they don't pay anything for their services, so we have to try to find a way to pay for that. My family has been very supportive. My parents have set a great example for me because when my brother and I were growing up, they made us the number one priority by always taking care of us. They're always here when we needed them. Parents will always talk to you about anything that you need to talk about because they love you. But if you don't feel comfortable speaking to your parents, you know that there is an option center that will talk to you. Remember, we will not turn away anyone because they don't have the money. We will take anybody that wants to come in. We strongly recommend that you turn to your parents before anyone else. This podcast brought to you from across Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.